Hello, friend, and welcome back to the channel. This prophetic word comes from Veronica West, Northern Ireland, UK. The giant is now waking. I heard these words. Don't be alarmed or moved by what is coming. Stay armed and ready to advance at my command in the coming days. Last night, the Lord had me praying without ceasing. There is no time for the luxury of sleep when nations are about to be shaken wide awake. I was shown last night the hand of God lifting off of certain nations for a time, as nations have now entered a season of divine sifting, sifting and separation. God is making a divine distinction. I heard the Spirit say, Have I not said that this is a time and a sign that nations have now come into a second exodus, the second circumcision? Watch. The righteous judgments shake certain nations, swift and severe course corrections. They shift and realign others. Boundary lines will be rearranged. Borders will be reordered. Don't be alarmed or moved by what is coming. Stay armed and ready to advance at my command in the coming days. Watch for the weight of my glory is now invading. For nations in the valley of decision will now begin to come under the weight of my glory. The foundations of nations, they are being inspected. The fruits are being tested. Surely, I tell you, I shall not be mocked. Nations shall be brought to their knees in great humility, for I tell you, the books have been opened. Nations have been weighed in the balance and been found wanting. I say, revolution, resurgence, even sudden replacements shall dominate the headlines in the coming days. Greater uprisings, violent riots shall continue to take place in your streets as the sleeping giant wakes from its deep sleep. So I say again, brace, brace, for greater shaking is now birthing an even greater awakening in the nations of the earth. For behold, I am doing a new thing. Do you see it? Heavenly Father, Lord, we have so many words coming about, about shaking and slumbering. Lord, would you shake us awake? Shake, shake us awake in the areas that, that will keep us out of the sifting, out of the separation, Father. When you make this divine distinction, my friend and I, we want to be found with the sheep. We want to be found on the right side of eternity. I thank you, Father, that we can declare and decree, that we can, that we can listen to words like from our sister Veronica, Father, and we cannot be alarmed. It helps us to not be moved, friend. Friend, when you see the nations of the world in, in chaos and in tumult, isn't it great to know that our, our firm foundation holds, our anchor holds, that God, God is still God, and he is working things out that there are people now speaking God's name that never would have spoken it before. Lord, I thank you that the giant is waking. I pray, Father, that we would do the right thing during this time of a second exodus. Wow, what a word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.